Hello guys, how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing good. I wanted to make this video after I heard uh, after I heard about the executive order issued by uh, US government that would be affecting different non visa non immigrant visa categories. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to discuss about those uh, travel ban on different visa categories and what type of visas are, what type of visa holders will be uh, getting affected and what should be your travel plans. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So uh, if you go back exactly on April 22nd, 2020, President Donald Trump has issued an executive order uh, to not issue any immigrant visas for, for the people who are outside United States in the consulates actually. So exactly after 60 days uh, on June 22nd, 2020, this uh, executive order has been extended affecting certain non-immigrant visa categories. So here comes the picture. So this new executive order gonna impact H1B, H4, H2, L1A, L2, L1B uh, and also J1. So all these visa holders, if all these visa holders are outside of the United States without any valid visa stamp, irrespective of the consulate uh, opening tomorrows in different countries and cities irrespective of the consulate opening if all these visa category people do not have any valid visa stamp even though you have a uh, valid i-797 approval uh, and uh, all that stuff unfortunately you guys cannot enter into united states until end of this year until december 31 2020 Yep, that's a very bad news for a lot of people. I know like a uh, lot of people are affecting even my one my uh, friend's sister and my uh, my relatives are getting affected with this one. But unfortunately, guys, we have to accept this. Hopefully, uh, this will be gone soon. Uh, I heard that there are uh, there uh, they file like so many people file like some lawsuits and hopefully someone wins and this travel ban gets removed as soon as it can this will not be affecting for the people who are already in the united states for example you can file for your h1b extension h4 extension f1 to h1 change of status etc so uh, all those things will be normal and those can be performed without any complications without any issues so this is not going to affect uh, those kind of things all the normal procedures and also in this rule they did not discuss about uh, F1 or OPT uh, in this executive order. Additional measures have been discussed uh, about to reduce disadvantage for US workers. Uh, they're going to be, they expect, they said that they go, we should expect some changes that would be coming for uh, certain non-immigrant visa categories and also EB2, EB3 immigrants. So it could be, I don't know, I'm just guessing, it could be like H4 EAD probably might end. Uh, and also there are few rumors that uh, H, uh, they also said that H1B lottery strategy uh, strategy might be changing in future. They might be looking at salary or different um, sets of other things as a basis for the H1B lottery selection. And also the other thing I heard about other thing I heard was uh, uh, expect more biometrics for uh, H1B applications too. So all the last three which I mentioned, those all needs to go through a regulatory process and those not gonna come like, you know, right now or anything. So hopefully, uh, let's hope those kind of things doesn't come and not affect us uh, much actually. But anyways, I wanted to make this video and I wanted to let you know that unless really there is an emergency, in my opinion, traveling outside of the United States is little bit complicated. Uh, so, but unless, if there is an emergency, uh, I will leave up to you. You guys decide because we, we are not sure like what set of new, new rules might come tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, I just heard about the news uh, regarding the uh, spouses for uh, H1B and uh, L1 visa holders. So I wanted to update this video with the latest information actually. So uh, on June 22nd, they have issued a travel ban on H1B l1a and their spouses and different visa categories also so now that is little bit relieved for spouses so if the applicant is in the if the applicant is already in united states with a valid visa with a valid visa their spouses are eligible to apply 
for uh, visas in the consulates and embassies that will be slowly reopening tomorrow and they, they are eligible to come and this travel ban does not apply to those spouses actually so that is mainly h4 and l2 so um, as as i said in the previous video i especially know that one of my friend's sister got affected and uh, my relatives got affect, affected with this and they were separated for so many months so this is a very good news actually at least for the spouses again for the H-1B and the L-1 visa holders, if they are out of the United States, there is no clarity. Still, the travel ban applies to them. This travel ban relieves only for uh, spouses, H-4 and L-2 visa holders. Uh, if they are outside the United States, uh, tomorrow, I guess, like slowly, the embassies and consulates are uh, getting reopened very slowly. So those people are eligible to apply for uh, visa stamp and uh, they can come to United States. Hopefully some more good news come in the future. Let's stay, let's continue to stay strong. Let, as I always say, let's continue to stay strong. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comments and I will try my best to answer those questions or uh, to guide you in the appropriate direction. Anyways guys, this video is just for informational purpose only. So stay home, stay safe. Bye.